they say that don't start what you cannot end. And how they also say that had I known, it's always at last. Well, I've heard people say it, but I never found myself in any situation to experience it until today. I don't know how to say this. I'm being forced into a marriage with a man I am not in any way attracted to. My parents say I brought him home, and he has always been a responsible man to them. So me refusing to marry him is like a disgrace to them. But how do I marry a man who is like 20 years older than I am and probably has a daughter or a son of my age? No, I can't. I'd rather commit suicide than enter into this bride block. Oh, good morning. How was your night? What's up, Pastor? Oh, Mama, at least it's going to my beauty first thing. Okay, Mom. Why do you repent it yesterday? Mama, I told you that we have a lot of work to do nowadays. Let me help you. You know I don't like this area outside. It's not safe. But I do. I know what I'm going to No, I'll be late for work. But I promise to come back later today. See you later. <clears throat> my age as a girl, one of the main prayers is to land on a good man. Mr. Adams is a very good man, but once again, you know how they say that you can't force the heart to want what it doesn't want. He seems to be a good man, has all a woman would want in a man, but... Sheriffa, so you mean you still aren't ready to introduce me to your mom? Come on! What do you mean? Both my parents know you. Yeah, I know I've met them before. But what I mean is, allow me come and do the necessary things and take you home as my wife. You know I love you deep in my heart. You know that, don't you? I told you I'll think about it. I'm confused now, seriously. Think about what, Sharifa? Think about what? Don't you want to marry me? Do you even love me at all? I must get into the house. My mom might be worried. Oh! So what's up? How's work? Everything is cool. Work was fine. I'm so tired. I was actually just about to call you. Then I heard my phone ringing. Oh, liar. You told me you would call me yesterday when you got home. But you never did. I was so tired. I slept immediately and got home. Sorry, Dad. Mm -hmm. I won't say anything, oh, Malik. Oh, is that so? Mm. Hey, Malik. Remember the man I told you about who wants to pay my bride price? He's too serious about it. You are sugar daddy. Ma Malik, don't call him that. Okay. Habibi. Malik, stop that. 
I'm so confused. I just don't know what to do again. Look, Sheriff. If you ask me, I don't think it's a problem, you know. He's a good man. But he's so old that I cannot love him, no matter how hard I try. How do I marry somebody I don't love? Marriage is a lifetime thing. It demands more than love. Someone who would always be there for you. It's your fault anyway. How? What did I do? Why did you make him think you are interested? Why you are not? I actually thought I would fall in love with him all the time. But it didn't happen. And right now, as a stance, I do not even have a bit of feelings for him. One thing you must know. If he gets your parents, especially your dad, you won't have any option. Act fast. When I first met Mr. Adams, he appeared so kind caring and respectful that i couldn't just turn him down like i do to the young boys he loved me very much but i do not love him no matter how much i try he met my parents and they liked him immediately he's been of great help to my dad and mom buying us a lot of items and assisting my dad's business i watched him do all this hoping i would fall for him but no it hasn't happened and thinking about all this I really hate myself for what I'm about to do. It's going to be painful, perhaps more painful than I expected. But what choice do I have? I believe in love. promises, okay? Daddy, but I don't love him anymore. You mean that song? Mommy, I know I did, but I do not have feelings for him again. Yerma, Dima. Yerma! The fellow won't do this for me. Sharifa, what has come over you? Sharifa, what has come over you? Sharifa, what has come over you? You know? I have been in the field of the world. I have been in the field of the world. I have been in the field of the world. What is going on? Mr. Adam Yerman Aye has a catch you. Let do more poma titipa. Sharifa, why are you doing this? Mama, he said that I've not been ignoring him. I just need time to think. Sharifa, think about what? Mama, I'm not sure I want to marry him. I don't love him. I've tried, but no. Sharifa, you to abza anyel. Na chika do tana aburu. Kati bukuru. Haliko omani shili no nanga amale. Mama, I know he's a nice man. But I don't love him. I thought I would love him with time. But no. Mama, he's too old. Sharifa, ambe den chika dama amale ya. Zane gal ijama nwa amale ya. Do you put the deep bala yoro? The yam zang amount to do ma. Cassat do ma yelik. Mama, I made a mistake by making us come this far. Mama, please help me. Do something. Please let him know I'm not interested. Mama, I'm going to a lot. <laughs>
don't have to kill yourself because of this. We must find a way to solve it. Isn't it better dying than spend my entire life with somebody I cannot love? I have to end this by all means. But did you tell Mr. Adams your feelings towards him? I felt he may be heartbroken, considering everything he has been doing for my family and myself. And does your mom also approve of it? You know, mommy thinks I'm right, but she cannot support me. This might destroy her marriage, and I don't want it to happen. I don't know what to say. I'm just confused. I don't want you to say anything. I just don't want you to do. Please stay here with me. He was calling to tell me. So that day, I left my best friend, Malik's place at night, and guess what was waiting for me at home? Mr. Adams was at the entrance of my house waiting for me. He smiles brightly upon seeing me, and there was this renewed energy in his eyes that made me suspect immediately that he was up to something. He called me his dear wife, and I was more shocked than irritated. He had called me many sweet names, but never his wife. Why hasn't your father told you the good news yet? What good news? My dad only asked me to come and see him when I get home. He hasn't said anything to me. What is going on at all? Okay, I'll be waiting for you here. Your dad will disclose the good news for you. <laughs> oh, my beautiful wife. While I walked anxiously into the house, I had my suspicion and prayed that it was not what I was thinking. But guess what? It was exactly what I was thinking. Oh, no, I wanna know a barkanon. Mr. Adams had come with his family and paid my bride price without my consent. Mama said he said he called to tell me, but I hung up before he said anything. This is how the relationship I started as fun is now turning into a thick sucking away my blood. How did I get myself into this bride block? and my father would threaten to disown me if I dare try opposing this arrangement. I don't know what I want, but I know what I don't want, and Mr. Adams is what I don't want. I may not live this life. Whatever I have to do to end this, I will do. Mm -hmm. 